Classes are a logical connection of a particular type of design object. For example, a group of related nets could be grouped into their own net class, which could then be used for the basis for creating a targeted rule. One of the ways to create net classes is by automatically generating classes from a schematic. The settings for this method are found in the Class Generation tab of the Project Options. This tab provides controls for determining which classes are automatically generated. Generate net classes for buses. All nets connected to the bus will be automatically generated net classes. The generated net class will be named after the bus name. Generate net classes for components. Check this option to automatically generate a net class for each component in the design. The members of a class will be the nets associated with the pins of the component. Create separate net classes for bus sections. This option automatically creates a separate net class for each bus section. A bus section is created by specifying a bus which is actually a section of a larger bus. Generate net classes for named signal harnesses. Enable this option to automatically generate a net class for each named signal harness in the design. Net classes scope. This area allows you to control the automatic generation of net classes at the individual schematic sheet level. For each sheet, you can enable none. Do not generate a net class for this sheet. Local nets only generate a net class for this sheet, but only containing member nets that are local to the sheet. All nets generate a net class for the sheet that contains all member nets associated with the sheet, local and those that go elsewhere. To generate custom classes, use the settings at the bottom of the panel. Generate net classes allows you to generate user-defined net classes when transferring data from a schematic to the board. Net classes are manually defined on the schematic using the parameter set directive. To combine the nets into a common net class, we'll need to place this directive on all nets or buses that should be included in the class. In the properties of these directives, add a net class parameter and in the value field the desired class name. In some cases, where you might want to add directives to several objects at once, we can use a blanket which defines the scope of the directive. Once defined, place the directive on the border of the blanket. In the directive properties, you can set the display style to tiny to avoid clutter. When transferring data to the PCB, all nets marked with this directive will form a user-defined net class. These classes can be used, for example, to create design rules. Classes of differential pairs can be created in a way similar using the corresponding directive. In the properties, specify the name. It is important to note that the creation of classes of nets and differential pairs can be carried out both on the schematic and directly on the board. By default, the classes created at the board level will be automatically deleted during an engineering change order. Since the program believes that if they are not defined on the schematic, they should be removed. When using a mixed approach to creating classes, we will need to disable the deletion of net classes and differential pairs in the project settings under the ECO Generation tab. Classes will be added to both the schematic and the board, but they can only be deleted directly from the board.